Hello all and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. It's December the 16th. Yes, I've been away or been off uh, YouTube for a while. Mainly, big reason being that I've tried to concentrate on getting on with things and I've come over here doing bits of jobs and either forgot to bring the camera with me or when I brought the camera there's been people working on the plots next to me and as you know with my videos I shoot them and what you see is what you get I don't do no editing not that I'm knocking any fancy editing at all I think it's all great what people do but I don't bother I just do it in the raw uh, right, so I'll turn you around and let you have a look at what has been going on. Right, as you can see, looking around, I now have plenty, all my, well, more or less all my paths covered in bark chippings. Um, we were lucky enough to have a, a load delivered uh, probably a month ago, not a bit more. So I took the advantage and uh, went for it. Um, broad beans, aquadulch in both of those beds. They've, uh, let's just have a look. Uh, they were sown 9th of the 10th they've probably been in here now uh, 6 weeks something like that so they're doing nicely some red cabbage that's not doing too bad um, I'm assuming that the pigeons leave this alone because of its colour uh, because as can be seen with like the sprouts down here, the birdies have been having a right feast. And I'm assuming that with red cabbage, they don't touch. Um, there's uh, some hearts coming on these quite nicely. One or two hearting up. So they'll be okay. Um, this bed was the sweet corn bed last year or this year should I say um, these two are going to have sweet corn in this next year um, so they've been a little bit of muck put in them covered up and uh, left to do their thing uh, the strawberries over there they're going to be coming out as from beginning of next year I'm possibly going to be moving those out the way completely um, I've got one or two plans for one or two things fruit trees well fruit trees are fruit trees this time of year I mean I could tell you that's an apple and it could be a plum I could tell you that's a pear and it might be an apple and so on so I do know for a fact that that little one there and the other one over the far side I do know they're apple but they not produced very big apples at all um, but uh, we'll see how they go onions let me just show you Shakespeare they were put in 16th of the 9th um, can't moan doing quite well I think all bar about three have come up. My rhubarb's died back. That will be getting a bit of a mulching shortly. These gooseberries will be coming out of this plot and the raspberries at the back here they'll be getting cleaned up and some framework put around them ready for next year uh, as is the same with the raspberries there. Now the one thing that you'll notice is, in fact let's take you closer, as you can see I've cut all these 
vines. Those of you that uh, have subscribed or seen some of my videos will know that along here were some vines. This has been the first year I've had this plot and I will be honest and say I haven't got a clue how to keep vines. I wouldn't know what was a good vine, what was a bad vine. I've heard of glue vine, which I believe is a German drink, but that's a different thing altogether. Um, so I've decided I'm going to cut these out, or cut the tops off, and then I'm going to get these all out, along with the gooseberries. Uh, main reason being that this year I'm planning on growing mainly potatoes in here. Uh, talking to plot holders that have uh, seen this plot for some time and have known the chap that's been on here, he's not had potatoes on here, I believe, because he's got he did have another plot that he used to much larger that he used to rotate potatoes on. So I'm going to do potatoes, but I'm going to do them in rows this way. So it would be nice to get these out to give me a bit more room. Uh, I'm only planning on doing probably about three rows this next year. Um, and that's it really. Asparagus is doing pretty well. Um, although, well, say doing well, you can see where it's, it's dying off a bit. Once a bit of weeding taken out of it, which uh, isn't doing too bad. Get rid of them, we'll be all right. Um, and that's it. Uh, I can't really say much more. I'm really pleased with how things are going. Uh, sorry for taking so long to uh, post anything up. If any of you have been waiting for me to uh, show you what I've been at lately. Oh, let me just show you this purple sprouting broccoli. Uh, first year I've ever grown it and uh, it looks like I needed to stake it. Um, these have gone really gone berserk and they've gone triffid like all over the ground. Um, but, you know, hey ho. Um, so, before I completely bore you to death, I'll go for now and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Uh, Probably going to be my last chance to wish you a Merry Christmas. So all the best for the new year. I hope you've got everything sorted with regards planting for next year. And uh, I'll see you all again in the new year. I've got a visitor. Gerard a bit. <laughs>